Welcome, 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 cosmic gods and goddesses. Thanks for tapping in. Thanks for stopping by. Back here again with another general intuitive energy read for the collective. I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you guys are having an amazing day uh, wherever you are in the world. All right, sending you love and high vibrations. Nobody told you they love you today. I love you today. We're going to tap right into the um, energy here. Let's see what messages, spirit guides, the most high God and the ancestors have for the collective at this time. Please and thank you. Something that somebody wants to say, so let's uh, get it out in the open. That's what I'm hearing. Let's get it out in the open. Let's get this out in the open. So what's we'll here? What does collective need to know? What they need to be aware of? Spirit, please and thank you. What's here? Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. Wow, somebody wish they could be different. Okay. <laughs> Somebody want to be more than friends. Somebody wants to be more than friends. But they know they was a distraction for your pain. It was my fault, but I blamed you. And at the bottom of the deck, I wish things could be different. So I'm getting that this is this is somebody you could have uh, um, been involved with, you know, in a relationship, because they want to be more than friends, but um, they were just a distraction from your pain. So you may have been going through something, you know, a troubling time or something like that. You know, this person um, just may have took things the wrong way. I just got out of character or something. That's what I'm getting here, and you know. They blamed you for however they was feeling, whatever they was going through. I'm giving that they took it out on you. Okay, but they already knew that you was going through some type of hurt or pain. You know what I'm saying? And so they um, they were, they knew that they were a distraction from your pain. But when something went awry in their life, they blamed you. They started putting all those negative emotions on you. And I'm getting that you didn't deserve that. And now this person is wishing that they could be a different person. Because they're not realizing their mistakes. But I don't know if it's too late or not. So let's see what's going on here. Alright. So maybe uh, you and this person, if you guys were in a relationship, you're not in a relationship now. I'm getting you in separation. Okay. This person blamed you for something you were not responsible for. Okay. You're already going through something, whoever you are. So what's collective need to know? Yeah, this person is wishing now things could be different. Are they wishing they could have done things different? Yeah. They know it was their fault, but they blamed you. Okay. Take how it resonates. Okay. Do the rest with someone else. Let's see. For the collective messages for the collective. The messages for the collective. Spirit, please and thank you. Yeah, someone they expected in the beginning was someone. Okay, they wanted it to be, they was expecting it to be more than just friends. But, you know, somebody's not looking at it that way. I'm getting you're not looking at it that way, collective. Okay, maybe you were at first looking, looking, um, you know, starting in the beginning with somebody in a relationship or a commitment, but something didn't turn out right here. Why? You are already hurting whoever you were, and this person just made it worse. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. What's your Holy Spirit? Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. That's too many. Messages for the collective. Yeah, it's game over. This person hurt you too bad. Whatever they did, they broke your heart. You was expecting in the beginning with this person, or just, you know, expecting y'all to be more than just friends, but they did something. They know it was their fault too, whatever happened. 
and this connection. But they blamed you. And now they wish things could be different. What else is doing? Doing drugs. Yeah, somebody was doing drugs. Yeah. Maybe they hid this from you, collector. Maybe they didn't tell you they were doing drugs. Maybe you found out later. This ain't for everybody. This is for somebody. I only take a resonance to the rest of someone else. All right. Uh, this could be masculine or feminine energy, okay? Past, present, or future events. But somebody was expecting a commitment with somebody. They was hoping they could be more than friends. But it was game over as soon as somebody found out somebody was doing drugs here. Yeah. Mm hmm. Or somebody used these drugs as a distraction from their pain here. And it was their own fault, but they blamed you, collective. Okay, but now they're wishing things could be different. Okay. What else? Yeah, yeah, you busted them doing something. Is this game over? Like you felt like this person played with your heart. But I wasn't to totally open and honest with you. Okay. Oh, you found out this person was a hater. Mm -hmm. That's why they blamed you. They blamed you for whatever went wrong in their life. They took it out on you, collective. Mm -hmm. Wow, they knew you are already going through something. Okay. I don't know why this person coming to collective energy. I don't know if they knew they were toxic coming in. They knew that. This person knew they were doing drugs. Something that you possibly wouldn't go for. You know. And uh, or this person came into your life because they were a hater. And only to play games. And you know it. Like, hmm. Maybe, you, you know, you thought it could be, you guys could be more than friends. Until you find out this person was playing games with your heart here. This person was also doing drugs. Okay. This person was also hating on you. <laughs> wow. Blaming you for the shit that went wrong in their life. Knowing how long it was their own fault. They were the one. They were the toxic one. Not you, collective. Okay. Let's see. What else is here? They came in playing games. Mm hmm but now they're wishing they hadn't played games with you, Collective. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, you don't hate nothing about this person. You don't hate them. You just ain't going for their games. Maybe you got a hold of them. Um, I don't know, some of them doctor or paperwork or some shit like that. You don't hate nothing about this person. Uh, even if they're doing drugs, they just you don't want the games around you. Okay? You weren't expecting this person to, to hate on you or to do something uh, and blame you for it, knowing it was their own fault. But you're not holding no grudges against this person. You just ain't going for that game. That's what I hear. Going on here. You found out this person was toxic, and you say game over. Okay. Yeah. This person didn't keep a promise. Maybe they told you they were, they promised somebody here uh, in the collective by the collective's energy that they was gonna stop doing drugs, but they didn't keep their promise in this connection here. But you don't hate this person. You're just taking caution. This person blames you. Start blaming you <laughs> for something they did. It had nothing to do with you, but they wish they could, you know, change things. They wish things could be different between y'all. Okay. When you found out this person was doing drugs, you didn't kick them to the curb. You just, 
You know, they start blaming you for shit. You just say, game over. I'm done. You know, you didn't keep your promise. Okay. You didn't put on no show. You didn't You didn't do none of that. You just realized this person was really with you to hate on you or whatever. If it, this person was living with you, I mean, hey, they, they just had to go somewhere else with that shit, dude. You just didn't want that shit around you. Okay. Yeah, that was the end of that love story. Yeah, that new beginning. <laughs> that was the end of that love story. I'm going to say it again. That was the end of that love story. It wasn't what you was expecting. That's what I hear spirits say. Okay. Wow. If this person didn't hate on you so much, you, you might have would have, you know what I'm saying, gave your relationship a chance. But you realize this person was toxic and they was hating on you like, Blame me for shit that it was their own fault or whatever. But you don't hate them. You don't hate nothing. You don't hate nothing about them. You know what I'm saying? You didn't kick them to the curb. You just say a game over. I'm not dealing with you. You can carry your game some fucking where else, okay? Wow. If they were staying with you, you more likely did, you know, tell them goodbye, you know, because <laughs> you wasn't going to put up with them. All right. Especially if they start blaming you for shit that wasn't your fault. Yeah, you realize this person you was dealing with was a hater, but you hate nothing about them, collective. And they're wishing that it could be more than friends here. Now you may feel like you may be being gang stalked by this person here. Okay. Now this person may be gang stalking you. Wow. What else is here for the collective? Messages for the collective. You seen the shady side of this person, yeah. Yeah, they just bust as soon as they blame you for something they did. Now they want to gang stalk you. Wow. Mm hmm. They said you're going to get somebody hurt. Okay. This toxic person, all right, maybe they blamed you, but something was their fault, okay. And he also knows that the sex was different. There's another thing that turned you off, that you found toxic about this person. Yeah, or they almost got you or them hurt, either, either or, okay, yeah. Very gullible, naive. Maybe this person was. Maybe that's why you got rid of them. But they wish you know that things could be different. All they had to do was be honest with you. They couldn't be honest with you, collective. It's the energy I'm getting here. What else is here? That's just for the collective. Yeah, you ain't focused on this hater no more. Once you realize they was a hater. Now they want to gang stalk you. Oh yeah, the thrill is gone, baby. Yeah, you know, game over for this person. They didn't keep a promise with you, collective. But you don't hate nothing about them. You don't. They just can't be around you. What's here? Mm-hmm. You realize this person has some serious issues, especially when they start blaming you for shit that wasn't even your fault. Okay, that's when you knew it was over. And you opened up your heart to this person. And I hear you saying that I opened up my heart to you. But some of y'all opened up your heart and y'all door for this person. Okay. But you didn't kick them to the curb. You let them kick their own self to the curb. Okay. For some of y'all, they just went back out there to them streets. Okay. You had good intentions. That's why you don't, you know, you ain't got to feel bad. You don't hate nothing about this person. But this person completely blindsided you with blaming you for something you had nothing to do with. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. They didn't want to play the victim here. Spirit said they want to play the victim. They try to make you a victim of something here. And you said game fucking over. This is not what you was expecting here. And this person didn't keep a promise here. Mm-hmm. Maybe they thought they can come into your energy and play with you. Okay. Wow. Maybe it was out here telling all your business too. Some heavy consequences for that shit. Okay. Yeah, this person was selling your dream or a fantasy. Okay. Wow. Pretending like you they was wishing you the best. All along they was hating on you. But you was protecting your energy here. 
or protect your energy because this person gonna try to play the victim. That's why it says it was my fault, but I blamed you. Yeah, that's the end of this love story. What the fuck? You realize this person was full of envy. Okay, wow. You got rid of the drama before the drama got started. That's what I'm getting here. Wow. And yeah, now this person sitting somewhere wanting to play the victim. Worship things could be different here. What else, spirit? Yeah, the damage is done. What this person did is unforgivable. What they did to you, you're back in your comfort zone where you want to be at. Okay? Yeah, because this person couldn't be honest with you. All right? Mm-hmm. They couldn't be honest with you. They couldn't keep their promise. But you don't hate them, Collector. You don't hate nothing about them. You ain't giving them that much energy to hate them. They don't have no control over you. Or your emotions or your feelings. You don't give them no control over you. Yeah. You feel like in a way this person may have set you up in a situation. Whatever that situation uh, may have been. Okay. So you was paying attention. Okay, when they thought you wouldn't. You was paying attention. Maybe you feel like this person was bad news, okay? Um, call the communication or this person might call you with some bad news. But you're in your comfort zone. Hey, this person, you thought this person was there to help you, you know, to, to keep you from focusing on the pain or whatever you was going through, you know, the heartbreak or whatever it might have been, you know. But as soon as they went through something, they wanted to play the victim and start blaming you for it. And you was like, you know, game over. I'm not even going to play the game with you. You cut off that love story. You cut that shit short before it even got started because it was nothing you expected from this person. You didn't expect this, okay? Mm-hmm. See, if, if it was behind a, a, a karmic, they with the karmic now, okay? If they're not with you anymore, and I'm getting that they're not with you because, yeah, I said you, you probably, you know, they either left on their own or you may have put them out. I'm getting more so they probably left on their own. Yeah, they couldn't answer if you called them because they person, they karmic was asleep beside them. Okay. Yeah, you got rid of the drama before the drama got started. Yeah. That was a love story, a, a quick love story. Okay, but you don't hate nothing about this person. Because you know this person already living in misery. Okay. Mm-hmm. They thought they got away. Mm-hmm. They thought they got away. Mm-hmm. But you already know about the spicy encounter they had with the person. They played you for the last time. All right? You did not have access to this person to come back into your heart space. Okay? You're avoiding the drama here. Yeah. You don't hate it. You don't hate nothing about this person. It's been weighing on your heart or weighing on your mind. You know? Wow. Maybe you feel like this person pushed you to the side or, you know. Wow. Either way it go. With you, they blamed you for something that you didn't do. Now they want to play the victim. You know, they thought they got away with, I don't know, seeing a third party or something here. But you don't hate nothing about them. They didn't keep their promise with you here, okay? You may not have known that they was getting a room or seeking pleasure with somebody else, okay? Because they didn't show it. They didn't even show that somebody's person here was doing drugs. Yeah, they thought they got away with the shit, but they didn't, okay? And the times you called them, they didn't answer the phone. That's because they had somebody else sleeping beside them, okay? That shit been weighing on your heart and your mind. And that's why this person played you for the last time, okay? Uh, you, you, you didn't have them access to your heart. To your heart space anymore. Plus, whatever they, whatever went wrong in their life, they blamed you for it anyway. Okay, and they know they was wrong for that shit. I'm here, game over. Take that shit somewhere else. She's stopping the drama before the shit even gets started. Okay. Yeah. This person was wishing you bad because they was really hating on you. Okay, in a relationship, I don't know what it was that they wanted from you, but it wasn't what you expected. Okay. Wow. They didn't keep a promise or whatever. Shit, whatever the shit is. Yeah, they know they should have treated you better. Okay? They know they should have treated you better, collective. Instead of wishing you bad, because you didn't deny them access to your life. 
but stay sitting somewhere now and they regret. They wishing things could be different. They wishing they were fucked up with you. Okay. Wow. They want to tell you how they feel now. Okay. That you came closer to anyone, you know, to get into their heart than anyone else ever have. Uh huh. They hope that, that you can forgive them one day. Okay. Wow. They gonna wait for a sign from you, collective. Damn. But you avoided this drama. Yeah. Oh, you know now about this person. That's why you said game over. Something about this person you found out that you did not expect, that you didn't like. And whatever, something they did, uh, they blamed you for it. And you was already going through something. Yeah, this person, this karmic's life is not together as it seems. And you saw that. Okay, you, that's why you denied their asses access. Yeah. Yeah, it's time for this person to go heal, or it's time for you to heal now. Okay, wow. One more. And this person was total drama. But I'm getting that you don't hate in collective. You got a good heart. And you don't hate nobody. You don't get nobody that much damn energy. Okay. You just know when somebody playing games. Okay, when they hiding shit, like if they doing drugs. Or something like that, and they told you they wasn't. Or they, you know, promised you something. They was playing games and they cheated on you, you know, with somebody, and you found out about it. You know what I'm saying? You just politely tell the person, hey, the timing wasn't right for us, all right? You go your way and I go mine. And that's what you did. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe you need time to heal because, like I said, you was already going through something because they said they knew there was a, a distraction from your pain. So, yes. You already know it's time for you to heal now, okay? Because you know this person's life that you was dealing with one together as it seems, okay? Shit, all this stuff that started falling out the fucking closet. Wow. Well, they know that you're the best thing that ever happened to them. Yeah. You you probably cared about them more than anybody's ever cared about them in their life. But see, they fucked up. Yeah. They might have left you before you could leave them. They might have, okay? Because they knew they lost themselves for a while. But they feel you, even though y'all, that y'all uh, apart or in separation, or y'all not together no more. Yeah, this person felt you leaving them behind, okay? Yeah. But you de denying them access back into your life. Because they think they got away with cheating and you didn't know it, huh? Yeah. You know about the spicy encounter. You know why they didn't answer the fucking phone? Because the bitch or the nigga was laying right next to him when you call him. Mm-hmm. What's this spirit? Yeah, they're going to be looking for somebody like you everywhere, but they ain't going to be able to find another one like you. That's what I'm getting here. A shit to you, collected access is denied to this motherfucker, this bitch. Okay, because they played you for the last motherfucking time. Game over. You're not going for the games. They played you for the last time. <laughs> spirit. Spirit laughed and said, right, collected. They thought they got away. They didn't get away with shit. They could play the victim. Oh, oh, they could play the victim all they want. It don't matter. You seen the shady side of this motherfucker. Yeah, they busted. Or you busted them. Or you gonna bust them. Now they want to gang stalk you. I just know if you feel like you're being gang stalked. This is this person because they hoping y'all can be together again. But access denied. Access denied. They don't know you like that. <laughs> I'm hearing they don't know you like that. They underestimated you collective. Wow, good for you. Alright, till next time. Namaste for now.